Hi guys. Um, a bit something different today because I know of late my videos have been out in the mountains and been catching up with some friends I haven't seen for a while. Been, they've been away travelling. Um, and we've bagged a few mountains, me and the missus and some friends. Uh, and I hope you like those videos. Um, but obviously I haven't done much in the way of bushcraft and stuff. So uh, I thought I'd just try and put something together uh, of a little bit of whittling. And I've seen on YouTube, um, I can't remember the name of the guy, but I will put a link in uh, on this video, uh, whittling some little wizard heads and stuff like that. And I thought, yeah, I fancy giving that a go. You know. So I went out for a walk with another friend that visited just the other day. We went down our local area and I picked up some nice bits of hazel and one here and one here slightly longer shaft here uh, than this one and my aim is to carve in the top the wizard's head uh, just for the top bit and uh, the same on this one I'm not sure I'll get all that done in this video but what I'm gonna aim to do is I'm gonna cut a section off and then whittle into that the shape and see if I can do it and see if it turns out okay and if that's good enough, my next project will be to put them as the handles of the top end of these shafts. So uh, I've got myself set up up here. <laughs> Looks like there's going to be a bit of rain, but hopefully I can get it done before then. So uh, hope you enjoy this. Stay tuned and uh, it won't be a long video this, I'm sure. I'll keep it short. My other ones have been quite long. So. Little uh, super silky 21 cracking tool, and I'm going to use the Mora 106. Starting with the head, the hood of the hat. That's the rim of the hat, a little divot at the back, so it's going to have like a little bobble hat on. Come back to it in a bit. hood and now I've put in a V in here and a V here um, this is gonna make the, the shape for around the eyes or where the eyes are gonna be there are many ways of doing this but um, This is the way I'm doing it. It's similar to the guy I watched, but with my own interpretation on it. So here will be the eyes and a nose and hopefully a moustache and into a beard. So stay tuned.
thing I noticed is this being fresh. It's very fragmented, so the fine details I'll probably let it dry out and then I can just really trim off some nice edges. Uh, just got to work on the beard and a bit of detailing around the back, but see, he's coming along. Someone with a crooked mind might think that's something else. But um, yeah, I'm still working. I'm going to do the beard bit section now uh, and finish that off. There it is. So if I can duplicate that onto my main staff next time, that'll be quite good. Well, that's me near enough done. I don't know if you can see this in the light. I'm going to take a little bit off the back there, I think. Just there. Um, and I better stop. Because it uh, looks like the rain's coming. This is just some crazy. shaping to make the hair and look a little bit like I don't know if you can see that at all just to uh, give some rough edges I think it's not too bad for my first attempt um, this will, will be on the, the top of the shaft there uh, just divoted in for a thinner hand grip and then continuing down not this one but I'll carve the same thing or similar into this next time so I'm not going to do that now I'm going to finish with that and uh, hopefully you enjoyed that me doing a bit of carving for a change um, <clears throat> would like to say thank you to my friend Lee who gave me these nice little detailing tools really good for carving and stuff so that was really appreciated Lee so um, let me just move that up so once again my little attempt at carving so um, hope you liked it guys see you later